ClickUp 2.0 is here. I'm actually a little late to the game filming this tutorial, but I wanted to make sure I was aware of how things worked and doing how all the things did the things and how it was different or better than the original ClickUp. So if you have found me or you have been looking for a ClickUp tutorial and you are needing the most updated version at the end of 2019, this is the tutorial for you. Hey, howdy, hey, welcome back. It is a good day to have a great freaking day and go all in on the things that you are wanting to do. If you're feeling me, hit me with a thumbs up below because I'm ready. I'm ready to have my great day and I hope you are too. Now, if you're brand new here, my name's Jessica Stansberry and I am the girl who's going to help you live a better life, do the things that you want to do with that life, stop making excuses for who you are, where you came from, what your circumstances are, and go all in on having a great, great day life. If that sounds like something you want to get more of, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any other videos coming out from me every single week. Now, if you're not sure what ClickUp is, it is essentially a project management tool and I cheated on and then left Trello for ClickUp. It's really weird because I actually, one of my most popular videos for a very long time were my Trello videos and my Trello tutorials. And it's how a lot of people found me. And so it was really hard for me to be like, as I broke up with it, I'm done with Trello. But that's because it was great, but it just wasn't what I needed anymore. At the level of business I'm at, the level of goal getting that I'm at, I needed something a little more built to have robust features that allowed me to project manage in the way that I needed to project manage. It's very visual, so you can actually like see where things are on a process, just like Trello. It also has a list and a calendar view, just like Trello, but it has some extra things built in. So if you're looking for a project management tool and you have not tried ClickUp, definitely try that. And at the time of this recording, which is in November of 2019, ClickUp 2.0 just released to the public and I'm obsessed. So if you have watched my original ClickUp tutorial and you're like, oh wait, that doesn't look like my ClickUp, then I'm here for you. Don't worry. So let's jump into it. I'm going to take you over to my computer. I'm going to show you what ClickUp 2.0 looks like, kind of how to use it, um, how I use it, some really fun features that it has, and hopefully it'll help you manage the projects that you are needing to do to hit those big goals that you've got. ClickUp 2.0. Now, I'm not going to show you every single feature there is because that would take me days because there are so many, but I, what I am going to show you are the basics, how I use it, and some of the features that I love the most. So essentially, this is ClickUp. This is, we can actually, um, let me go back out here because this is actually probably a better view. So the way ClickUp is organized is there are spaces which are overarching things. So for me, I have my day-to-day -day operations, um, my marketing, my content, my programs, operations as far as like systems and things like that that we need to put somewhere, um, clients. So I do work with some clients. So here's what where their information goes, the digital planners that I do, and then the book that I will eventually be writing. <laughs> um, so they're all in here as spaces. Each space then has folders and each folder can have a set of lists. So like if I go to marketing, for instance, this all came over from Trello. So a lot of it's kind of messy, but here are the folders, social media management, an idea board, Pinterest, free workshops and challenges, and my marketing calendar. Now, again, all of this came over from Trello in this particular space. So I might not organize it like this when I really get down and dirty with fixing this. <laughs> but essentially, so marketing, I could have Instagram, I could have Facebook as a folder, I could have Pinterest as a folder, YouTube as a folder, all of these things. And then we could assign, we could have lists underneath each one. So for instance, here's social media management, and I can do that. These are lists. So Facebook ads, Instagram, those are lists. And then within the list, there can be tasks. So you can look at them from the list view, which if you're familiar with like Asana, this is probably going to be your favorite view. Or you can look at them from the board view where you can say, take them kind of through a process. Okay. So that's basically on every, how, how the whole thing works. 
the space is the overarching space you're playing with. Um, if you are a service provider, you could have a different space for each client. You could have one space for clients with different folders for each client. It really depends on how your brain works best. Um, for me, I don't know that these will be the categories and spaces I have forever, but for now it's what works and within each of those spaces is different folders. So like in content, we have the podcast and we have the blog and the YouTube workflow. So on the podcast, we have weekly content creation, um, which then has the episodes that are going live and when they're going live, if I'm looking on calendar mode, there are different modes you can look at up here. So list board, you can add calendar, you can add gaunt view, you can add like all of the different ones that are listed here. I really like, I actually don't like list at all, but I like board and calendar for the most part for me. You can filter tasks, you can find it by name, you can show subtasks that are separate tasks. Um, you can show only the things that are assigned to you. You can show the things that are assigned to everyone. Lots and lots of things. You can color tasks by their status. I mean, just an immense amount of features here. But essentially, the space then has folders, which then have lists. And for instance, in this list view or this list, we have weekly content creation. And it goes through the process of it's open, they're ready to edit, they're uploaded and scheduled. After publishing what happens, then this was, this all carried over from Trello. So this is not a good example, but, um, and then they go to closed. Okay. So once they've been promoted and all the things, they go to closed and we put them in our rotation for social media. But then we also have like pitches. So if someone has pitched us, which all, all of these are old, I believe. So I don't think, like if you're seeing a name on here, it's probably not even true. But essentially, if they have pitched us, they'll be here and then we move them over to closed once we book them. Um, so there are different lists that can go under each folder, which is really cool. And there can be tasks that happen at each of those lists. And these can be different at different levels within the list. So I can have a different set of these in weekly content creation than I do in pitches. Now, as you see on mine, that's not the case here specifically. That's because in the in the first edition of ClickUp, which is where I started, that was not available. You could not change it. It had to be um, folder specific. So essentially like pitches is all the way over here at the end um, because we still had to have all of these. But now um, each list can have its own set of what these are called statuses. So um, if I'm looking at it at board view, it looks like this. If I looked at it at list view, it's going to show me everything in a list. Um, very, very, very cool. So everything is a space with folders underneath, with lists under the folders, and then tasks on the list. So if you think of it like that, I think it's really easy. There's a lot of sort by features. There's a lot of coloring and naming you can do to really make this your own. One of my favorite, favorite things about ClickUp is that you can view everything at one time. So if I want to say, okay, I'm going to plan out my calendar for this week. I need to see everything that's assigned to me that's coming up. I can easily switch to the everything spaces to click to me, do show subtasks because sometimes there are subtasks, which I'll show you in a minute assigned to me and I can plan my week accordingly. So inside of each list and then, or I'm sorry, inside of each space, then folder, then list, like I say, are tasks. So I'm going to go to everyone here because a lot of these aren't assigned to me. So let's say that I have a task here to um, record episode. This is within this particular episode. This whole task is an episode and now we can have different things assigned to different people. So I could say, I need to record the episode. I can give it its own due date. So I could say, okay, it's gonna go live on the 6th of um, January. I really need to be recording it by the 4th. So I could give it its own due date. I could then put a subtask and say, create graphic. And I could assign that to someone else on my team, like Megan or Jess. And now they, and I could give it a due date. So now, even though this is one big task, it now has separate subtasks underneath it, which is really cool. You can also add checklists. So um, you can make templates and add checklists within each task. 
you can add a description, you can add attachments, you can um, put commands in here, tag people in comments, assign comments, which is really cool. You can move it right here. So if you hit the right arrow, it will move through. Let me show you what this means. It will move through this process. So essentially the way it's set up on the board view is that each step of the process is in order here. So now it's open. Now it's ready to edit. Okay. Once it's edited, we added it to uploaded and scheduled and then we add it and we just keep going with it. So if I'm in this one, I could go ahead and move it over to ready to edit and write show notes. I can assign the entire card to someone. I can do all of those things. I can also click here and skip some of the steps in the process if I want to and add it to something like further out. So if I just wanted to take it back to open, I can. If we want to close the task, we can hit set to closed and then it shows up in this column. So essentially, if you drill down to it, you have the big space, you have folders underneath the space, you have lists underneath the folder, and within each list you can have tasks, and each task can have its own checklist and comments and um, subtasks and due dates and all the things. And that kind of sounds like it might be confusing, um, and at first I think it is a little confusing. However, when for me it's easy because then you can just go to the everything piece and you can see everything at one glance and you can toggle it to just you and all of that. I've actually taught my team like go in and look at the things that are th just there for you. So um, that's really, it's, it's a really cool little feature of ClickUp. Now there's other things you can do. You can have goals. Um, there are reports you can do within here and portfolios. So the portfolios are essentially because they're like you know, I, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. And each of those spaces really only has one or two lists as, at, you know, at the point we're standing at right now. But let's say I had 62 spaces and then each of those has their own things. And I'm running a huge team with this. I can create a list of lists essentially that I care about so that all the other ones I never even have to see. So I could say add a portfolio and I could pick that I want to see the blog list and I want to see the operations list and that way it's really easy for me to just click that one portfolio and see what's going on in those spaces every day or week or however I want to do that and then goals are if you want to do something so let's say you want to write a book okay that could be a goal so setting a goal of writing a book and then you could break that down into tasks and it will keep up with it here so it will say like oh, you have gotten this far on your goal or you have done these things or whatever. Another really cool piece before I um, kind of wrap this up, well, one is this notifications thing, which is really nice. I can go to cleared notifications or new and see all my um, notifications and I actually need to clear these out. But um, And that way I can go through kind of what is happening in real time. The other thing is the inbox. I can also do that. So anything that has been kind of assigned to me recently is going to be broken up in that way. So um, in order of like from today to yesterday to last week, etc. And then um, I can delegate tasks from within here. So it will then show me that ability, which I absolutely love. Um, we have not incorporated the inbox into ClickUp yet. I do think that's probably something we will do, but as of right now, we haven't done that. Um, okay. One more quick little thing. So let's say I'm in this content, um, creation thing, and I know this is a podcast episode. I can give it a tag. So here are our tags right here, and here's our dependencies. I don't work a lot with dependencies, but you can basically say when this happens, do this, um, or if this happens, then this happens. But the tags are really cool. So let's say that every single week you had a um, meeting with your team all about what is going on for the next week and what is a big priority and what each like department is working on. So let's say you have a, an accounting department and you have a sales department and whatever else. And then each of those departments has their own spaces and things like that. Any tasks that need to be brought to the table in those like first time, not first time meetings, but those meetups every single week 
that you all need to talk about together could be flagged or tagged, I'm sorry, tagged in a certain way. So then, oh, let's say I wanted to tag this and you can make your own. These are all just kind of tags I already had in here. Um, and some of them are old from Trello, but you can, you can create your new tags. You can do whatever here. So, but let's say that um, I wanted to just create the tag of team meeting and then I wanted to assign team meeting to this card or task. Um, I still call them cards a lot because that's what Trello calls them. And I was so used to Trello. Um, but essentially I can assign the tag team meeting to this task. Okay. So first of all, I can do it from within here. So now it's filter or it has that tag on it. I can go into this everything space and I can go to, let's say list and I can sort by tags and let's say I want it to be, um, to only see the team meeting tags. I can scroll down to that or I can group by due date and then I can filter by tags. So let's say I filter by, um, team meeting. I can filter by that tag and see all of those things like right there immediately. Um, I can, you know, show closed subtasks. I can export the view of it. Um, all of these different things that you can do to make running your company even easier, even if it's just you, even if it's just the fact that you are managing everything in a better way. Hopefully that was helpful. Is that not the funnest? Funnest? I don't know if funnest is a word, but we're going with it. Is that not the best system you've ever seen in your life? I may be biased, but I don't know why I'm biased. It's not like I like own ClickUp or anything, but I love, 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 love it so much. So hopefully that was really helpful for you. Hopefully it allows you to take this day and get started on those projects and dreams and goals that you need to go after in a way that keeps you organized and accountable and allows you to do things in the best way possible. So go make this good day a great day day. Go all in on your dreams and your goals and your ambitions. And I'll see you back here for the next video. Bye y'all.